Okay, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, the ultimate pyromancer's guide. Now, I looked up where the fire seed in Harvest Valley is. It's actually after this bonfire. And by the way, I didn't even know that this poison gets drained as well. I thought it was only the poison inside the actual building that's get, that gets drained, but apparently not. Uh, the poison mist is still there, so... I'll keep my poison bite ring on. Oh, I don't have it. Yeah, I do have it. I'll keep it on for now. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and kill this giant here just to be on the safe side. Don't want him interfering. Oh, hey, that's actually pretty effective. I do want to get out of this thing once in a while. I'm going to use Flame Swathe because I feel like I haven't really shown off the power of Flame Swathe yet. One of the best things about it is that you can actually be behind cover and use it. Alright, you know what? Fuck it, I'll collect all these things. I never even know what these things are. I know there's a lot of fading souls in here to kind of like trap you. But, Titanite chunks as well. So, I think I only need like one more Titanite chunk to be able to upgrade my weapon. Smooth and Silky Stone, this is definitely a fading. No, a Titanite shard, that's good as well. Okay, I'm gonna get out of this thing for a while. I think I'll collect this too. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. That was like the worst item here. Shit, and I'm poisoned again. Not that it actually matters. Because I'm only gonna be here for a while longer. I think I'll definitely take out Mitha in this episode. Got time for that. And then we'll see what else I can do here. Anyways we go in here let's pick up there's a there's another fragrant branch here damn I never even knew that but that's surprising not that you ever like really need to search for fragrant branches it's not an issue well that's good to know that that's there cuz it's not that difficult to get to oh shit I probably should have healed up okay let's go ahead and head back to the bonfire I don't know why someone put their summon sign there not gonna get summoned from there, buddy. I'm sorry to tell you that. Unless he's waiting for someone specific. Cause that would make sense. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this bonfire. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I never knew that this poison gets drained as well. And let's head back to Earth and Peak to this bonfire. Alright, I'll get Lettersmith Gilligan in this episode. Get him to move back because... As I mentioned, I do want to purchase the set that he has to sell. I think it's the Assassin set it's called in this game. Anyways, it looks really cool and I want to see what I can match it with. And yeah, the only thing I don't like about my set right now is the hood. kind of just doesn't fit with the red and everything. So, well, I mean, it kind of does, but still, I look for something better. Ah, oh shit. Yeah, I always forget that there's three of these guys here. And I'm dead. Fucking hell. Well, that never actually has happened before. Well, actually it has. These guys have killed me before. I got a bit overconfident. Like, yeah, I forgot that there's three of them here. Ah, oh, well, still have the Ring of Life protection. I sh should have put back my um, Ring of Blades. So I'm going to go ahead and correct these two mistakes. And hopefully things are going to go a bit better. Alright, let's see. We want to go ahead and remove this. guess I can put on the still protection ring. And where is it? Ring of You know what? Actually, I put on the silver serpent ring. Because why the fuck not? Not going to waste a flame swathe on this guy. But a normal fire orb, that's going to be fine. Yes. Love it when I can pull off cool shit like that. Actually, it's probably easier to block these guys' attacks. But the Ring of Blades is helping out a lot. Frame rate is a bit wonky for some reason. Mannequin top. What does this look like? I got the gloves, I think, in, la in the last episode. Let's see. Mannequin top. Actually... That is pretty awesome. I'll definitely keep that in mind. 
Because that looks pretty cool. Going for fashion souls in, on this playthrough. It's like I don't need to worry about practicality too much now that I'm better at the game. A bit better at the game. And you just gave me a free backstamp. Thank you for that. Now, is this where I get to Gilligan? I always forget where he is. There he is. Yeah. Shush. You Egypt. Egypt. I love how he says it. You're a fugitive too, eh? Yeah. Still can't figure out if he's Scottish or Irish. You want to climb down here? I think he's a I think he sounds more Irish. Uh yeah, I'll help him out. Cause this does actually lead to something pretty good. For 2,000 souls, it's nothing much. It's worth it. I think, at least. Plus, cutscenes like this are rare in Dark Souls. You get to see, like, another character do something. Okay, let's go ahead and climb. I think it leads to Pharos' Lockstone, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, I like this area, how you can see back down into the mines. Only thing, of course, but everyone knows this. Yeah, this Ferris is lost on Twinkling Tight Night. I think it's worth it for 2,000 souls. Anyways, everyone knows how the Earthen Peak and um, Iron Key bonfires or areas don't really match up. But, eh, whatever. It's like a minor detail. I I will admit that the world was a lot more cohesive in Dark Souls 1, but really, when you think about it, they have to make, like, varied environments, and it is difficult to have, like, a transition from, like, a poison area to a lava area that makes sense. So, you know, I don't blame them for kind of, like, having a few weird transitions. I guess it would make sense more if you went down to Iron Keep. It was, like, underground or something. But then it would be a bit too similar to Lost Isolith, I think. I don't know. It doesn't really bother me, honestly, as long as the environments it's themselves have good design. Okay, they're just... I was like, what the hell is going on with these guys? We do have to be careful. That is actually a pyromancy spell that is completely unique to these enemies. But they also have lingering flames, so... Definitely want to be careful of that. There you go, that's it. I think they are very resistant to fire. Or not. But still, they are they have like no physical defense, so I got a magic stone. That is useful. Now what's in here? I have no idea. Besides a trap. What the fuck is that? Huh. I have never ever seen that before. What's the red mist? And is this a uh, this is not a hidden wall, is it? Anyways, we can break this now. It looks like a hidden wall, but it's not. Alright. Let's go ahead and get back down. Uh, I think I am missing something here. Oh, it's the shield. Lucatil's shield. It's in this area. Uh, I'm gonna knock her, knock her out of range. Shit. I don't think they actually move, these enemies. So, this might be a problem. God damn it. Alright, I guess you're gonna stay alive. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Pate, because I'm gonna try and do his quest again. Maybe with more success this time, because I don't know what went wrong in my previous playthrough. Oh, that's it. I thought he has more dialogue. Only when you go around, I think. Anyways, this is pretty simple. Did she actually move? No, she didn't. Alright, let's get down here. And this is not a mimic. Good. Just making sure. Just making sure. There aren't that many mimics in this game, I think. Although there weren't that many in Dark Souls 1 either, so... You know... And I think here he gives you... What does he give you? Hmm. 
I know it gives you something. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and backtrack here. I will pick up Lucadil's shield because that is actually a pretty good shield. Although I am happy with the sil silver black shield I have right now. Oh wait, I have to... Yeah, I forgot. This is the switch for the elevator. Okay. Gonna go up. Even though this is probably s the slowest elevator in the game. Actually, it just starts out slow. Oh. Yeah, this guy's here. I don't think he can actually hit me. Well, that's it. Mirror shield, like I said, it's pretty cool. Um, looks cool. Looks cool. But... I don't know if I'll use it. I'll have to see about it. It does have 90 physical defense. But I think the Archdrake shield does as well. 95. So it's actually better than the mirror shield. It has the same stability. Huh. Alright. Maybe the mirror shield isn't that good. This must be like uh, lighter though. Oh wait, shit. Don't get crushed. Don't want that to happen. I always forget that you cannot just go back. Okay, let's actually move on. Wait, there's... Oh, no, I picked this treasure up. Good. Yeah, it's time to go up. Head to the boss. I don't know if I'm going to summon Jester Thomas. Uh, he is a pyromancer, so I guess it would kind of fit. I don't know. I'll see about it. I did summon him for the sorcerer guide. So maybe I'll solo Mitha. She's not that difficult. Anyways... Haven't tried ever fighting her in the poison, and I really don't want to ever try, because that just sounds like a bad time. Oh, hey there. I thought I would get the backstab, but apparently not. Alright. All I gotta figure out is... Is there a way... Oh, no, there isn't. Okay, good. Because I did see some treasure on a ledge. Maybe that's further up than this. Actually, you know what? I can just go ahead and not use an Astus, but use a throwing knife and poison these uh, pyromancers. Oh shit, don't get hit by that. So yeah, you can use your environment to kill these uh, sorceresses. But you don't really actually need to because they are so easy. And apparently they have really shitty aim. Now there will be a difficult phantom coming up here. But we have to kill him to get to a bonfire. There he is. Jester Thomas. I'm gonna flame sway this motherfucker because... What weapon is he? Is he using the... Yeah, he's using the crescent sickle. Or is this the full moon sickle? I don't know which one is which. There's one that you get from being in the Brotherhood of Blood. And one that you pick up from those scythe-wielding enemies. I think he's using the one... Because this is inflicting bleed. Never used the Reaper weapons, really. But I'll try them out sometime. Okay. Let's head up to the bonfire. There's also treasure this way. I don't want to get to it right now. I think there is actually a mimic back there that has the work hook or something. Alright. And this is... I have no idea what. Petrified something. I have a couple of these now. Far from being able to upgrade a boss weapon. That is the that is one thing. The requirement to upgrade a boss weapon is kind of ridiculous with 15 petrified somethings. But, you know, I guess it's easy to farm it in the Dragonary, but if you want to use a boss weapon earlier than that, I don't know what you could do. All right. Got to be careful, god damn it. I think there is actually a way to Yeah, if you're Dodging really well. Not like that. Oh well, whatever. At this point, I can just clear this area and head back to the bonfire. 
So this is what I'm talking about with the weird bonfire placement in this in Dark Souls 2. Like they put a bonfire like literally above a boss. I don't think they've ever done that in the first game. Oh well. Whatever. Goodbye Mimic. That is awesome. Get the dark armor and I think this opens one of those healing pools which are completely useless. Especially, like I said, since there is a bonfire like three meters away. So just go back and hit this and we'll be on our way. Okay, what time is it? Fi I'm 15 minutes in. I guess I should be able to... I'll, I'll get to Iron Keep in this episode. Definitely. And then we'll see how much progress I can make into Iron Keep. You do have to be careful because if they launch, if they launch that uh, pyromancy attack, like from here, all of those orbs are gonna hit you, and that's gonna deal a lot of damage. It's basically that attack is basically like a uh, pursuer spell, except it's pyromancy. But like I said, their defense is solo. You can get their set, and I think their set is pretty cool actually. Okay, let's get these grave wardens. And, oh shit, probably shouldn't have aggroed both of them, and probably shouldn't run out of stamina. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Yeah, I should have been a bit smarter with that. Oh well. I also screwed up my, my dodging a bit. I planned to run up those stairs and then heal up. Didn't work out. Huh, whatever. Of course, uh, the only thing is I gotta wait for this to load. Okay, let's try that again. Um, that was a little embarrassing. I am gonna get back to human form just just because. Not that it actually matters since I am. Oh shit! See, this is what I'm talking about. You really wanna be careful with that attack. Okay, that was... That could have been cool if I actually avoided damage. Oh, shit. Anyways, you're dead. And he tried healing too. The asshole. Okay, I'll use up these throwing knives. I think. Good. Okay. That worked out. I need to buy more of these. I don't know where I can get some. I am hoping one of them will drop a piece of their set. Just so that I can show it off. Dragon Charm. But again, these are enemies that have like 50 items they can drop. Well, that was a convenient shot. Pyromancy is, yeah, they do travel a lot longer than in the first game. Oh yeah, don't even try that. Hey, hey, I think this is the first enemy I killed exclusively with Pyromancy. Uh, probably not. Okay, goodbye. Actually, that's not a one-shot. But this will finish you off. <clears throat> My controller was really loud there. I don't know why. Okay, what do you drop? Silver black shield. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and turn back into human form. But I want to summon Jester Thomas. Thomas. Not Thomas. Okay, do I still want this? Ah, I think this setup is good. I'll pop a life gem. And let's go. Sup, Mitha. That was a good start, actually, by you. I'll congratulate you on that. I will use Flame Swathe on her when I get the chance. But my longsword is dealing enough damage. Take that. Wow. As you can see... Flame Swathe is still a very useful Pyromancy spell. Just so powerful. Of course, only two castings. It's, it, it kind of balances out, and I think they did decrease... I'm not sure if they decreased the damage, but they definitely decreased the 
amount of tracking it does. Oops, should have been on Astus. Oh well. Whatever. That was probably a bad move. Yep. Oh well. She doesn't deal that much damage, which is... I guess it makes sense. I mean, this, is a, this isn't a very difficult boss, to be honest with you. Okay, that's... I do that. She's, she appears to be weak to fire, it seems. That's why maybe Jester Thomas wrecks her. Alright, goodbye, Mitha. That was a very short fight. And let's get a move on here. 34,000 souls and up go to Iron Keep. So what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is I'll actually finish up the Shaded Woods first. Pick up Partisan, which I think, I still think it's going to be my main weapon, even though I'm really liking the longsword. I want to try out the spear weapon. And then what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is go back and fight uh, what you call it? I forgot her name again. The Lost Sinner in New Game Plus. And get Flame Weapon because that's going to be a very useful buff. And then basically just move on from there. So here we are, Iron Keep. But we're going to head back to... Oh wait, I do want to try out one thing. Because Flash Sweat is actually pretty handy here. Because I think this should help me out a bit. Oh, that still deals a ton of damage. Alright, well, I expected it to be more useful. Actually, you can use the water pots, which give you more fire resistance. I think if you combine Flash Sweat with armor that has heavy fire resistance, plus a fire protection ring, you can make it across these platforms. But is it really worth it? I have honestly no idea. But gonna head back to Majula here and I think I'm gonna level up I see how many Titanite chunks I'm missing to upgrade my weapon hey there okay reinforce where is it longsword plus 8 okay I need one more but do I really wanna upgrade this longsword see I'm really I really don't know I ha do have a slab so I don't know if I want to use it on this or save it up for the Partisan. Okay, first of all, we're gonna get back to my good old trusty Fireball here. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my Pyromancy Flame, because I do have the Fire Seed. Hello. Hey there. No, wait. I'm gonna reinforce. And then we can move on from here. I think there's also Fire Seed up in Iron Keep. And let's go ahead and level up. Okay, I don't have... No, I don't have a flask shard. Okay. Level up. Let's go for... I think I want to increase these to 12 and 12. But I also want to keep increasing my dex. I think the partisan is more dex. I th yeah, I think 12, 12 for faith and int will do. And yeah, is that it? I think so. Oh, is Gilligan back? Yes, he is. Alright. Gonna go ahead and check out the shadow set. Or whatever it's called. Alright. What, what the fuck? Oh. The game literally froze for a second. Which is not good. I'll tell you that. He has claws, whips. And wait, this is it. Thief mask. Oh, it's the thief set. So I want to get this. I'll get the mask. I guess I'll pick up the whole set. I have enough souls for it. And we'll check out what it matches with. I'll, where is the mask? The mask is what I'm interested in. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And we'll see if I can match it. The mannequin top. Alright. Liking it. And I guess I'll use the black leather boots I like it this is a cool set maybe I'll check out the black leather set instead this is also cool hmm 
I don't know which one's better. The mannequin top is really awesome with all those daggers you have on your belt. Yeah, I think I'll stick with this. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 2. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.